Okay, well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, here we are in Nashville, Tennessee. Actually, we're at the Gaylord, the Opryland Hotel. You can tell if you look around here, we're up on the top floor here of the Convention Plants Center. And, and this is an incredible place to be. And the reason I'm here is because I'm speaking at a homeschool conference. Last night I spoke to about 4,000 people uh, at a homeschool conference. And we're here on the top floor right now, but we're here with Dan Wooster from Camp Infinity. And this is, this is fascinating because this is, again, this is what you call STEM. The STEM right? camp. Not STEM cells. No, nope, not STEM cell research. <laughs> this is STEM camp. And what is STEM? Science, technology, engineering, and math. Bringing all four of those disciplines together, teaching young people how to solve really tough problems in our culture to help us do what God's place is here to do, subdue the earth, control the world, help, help, help mankind live better in a fallen world. So we're going to go inside in a moment, and I'm going to see all the bits and pieces. You've got kids in there building robots right now. Yeah, the group. Now, you, you have STEM programs here at the Teach Them Diligently conference. Yes, we do. But you also do these at the Creation Museum. We do, too. yeah. During, during these workshops, this is all robotics workshops that we do. And so we have, this morning we had kids from third grade through sixth grade, this afternoon we have kids that are 7th through 12th grade. We'll do the same thing tomorrow. Then in the summer we do a full week of STEM camp where we do lots of other things. We fly drones, we learn about zip line technology, we learn about satellites, we all sorts of things, including the robotics. But here at these works, at these uh, Teach Them Diligently, we focus just on the robotics. Right, but uh, there at the Creation Museum, uh, you do a whole range of things. We do, including and taking them through the Creation Museum and the Ark and teaching them a biblical worldview of science and technology. So we do, a, we do workshops at the Creation Museum basically every day and so on, but this Correct. is a, a very specialist yeah, sort of the workshop. The difference is, yeah, yeah. We, we, the museum does science workshops, which is very important, teaching kids the, the details of science, biology, zoology, those kinds of things. What we do is we take all that and put it together into a teamwork environment, teach them how to solve challenging problems that face our culture in STEM. So what I thought we'd do is, um, I'm going to bring this up on my on my Facebook here, which I always do, as we ah, do Facebook Ah, so you get live, questions? Uh, in case we get some questions. See if anybody's watching us? Yeah, so what, what dates are the STEM camps at the Creation Museum? Uh, we year? start uh, mid-June through mid-July. It basically runs the month of June and the month of July. We have family camps. We have day camps that just are during the daytime. And then we have our, our biggest camp is our teen overnight camp. We have three weeks of that, one week in June and two weeks in July. So somebody, okay, there's people here from Texas. Uh, from uh, BC, British Columbia, uh, from Gold Coast, Australia. Great. That's my sister, actually. Is that really? Yeah. I don't Say hi, sis. Up this early. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and also uh, Iowa, uh, South Australia. Hey, it must be that time. Of, you know what? People are waking up. They're waking Australia. up over there. Usually, if I do if I do Facebook Live this time of day, we get <laughs> people from their Australia. Their phones buzzing. Said Ken's on uh, live. So, so let's go inside. Okay. And, we'll show you what uh, they're doing in there. Let's see what they're doing. We in have here. about thirty young people in here building robots and programming them. Okay. It's, it starts over here. We have all of the parts. We got these are all Lego parts, okay? So we've just put them all together. We've got the pegs and we got the beams and we've got the wheels. They've got sensors, motors. All sorts of Lego parts. And they are deciding now what they want to build and then we'll have some competitions in a little bit to see who built the best robot. Here they got some axles now, and beams. Why don't they just grab a heap of this, throw it on the table, and yeah, and shake ran, a bag. We took and just processes. shake it in a bag and see do, what comes do you out. Talk, do you talk to them about that? We have done that before. Yes, we have. Yes. Oh, so yes. What is it? Is this the, where are the motors? Are these the motors here? Motors Large are here. Motors. Yep. Here are the motors. Here are the sensors. So there's a touch sensor. This one lets it lets the robot see things like a bat. It can tell distances, things of that nature. Uh, there's a color sensor. It can detect various colors. And, and respond accordingly. So somebody said here, my son loved Camp Infinity last year. He's going Ooh. again this year. Fancy. Praise so the Lord. How many, like how many camps do you have? We run, let's see, this summer we'll be running one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll be running seven camps this summer. Seven camps. Whereabouts? Uh, these are all summer camps. are all up near the Creation Museum. Near the Creation Museum. Yep. And so they go to the Creation Museum. Do they go to the Ark as well? They go to the Ark. Okay. Uh, we stay at a place called Potter's Ranch, which is near the, near the museum. And... Uh, Somebody we wants to know if you're time. doing STEM camps in Australia. Not yet, but I will tell you, we've been in about 
20 cities in the United States. We've been invited to China. We've been invited to Hawaii. We've been invited to Canada. But we have never been invited to Australia. Well, you never know. Maybe one of well, these times. Well, my thing is you get enough kids to make it worth my while to come down there, I'll come okay. down there. I tell you, it's a great opportunity for kids because STEM is something that's very popular. It's very popular, but it's very always much in demand. most of it's from an evolutionary. Evolu yeah, a, a lot know, of parents are afraid. The E stands for evolution, which of course it stands for engineering. But evolution is usually heavily taught, particularly in the science piece. So we actually start them out with what we call a theology of technology. We look at the Bible and say, what does God's word say about technology? So we look at clothing, first example of technology in Scripture, and we see that you know God, God condone that. He he encouraged man to, you know, take animals and, 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 and make clothing and so that's kind of where we start our 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 workshops. And so uh, we've actually pinned it there near the top, visit campinfinity.com to learn more. Excellent. Somebody asked, is there any full time camp positions? Uh, we uh, not right now. We're hi we will hire part time for the summer. We've got our, our summer team is already selected. We 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 hire college students, mostly from Bob Jones University, from Liberty University, and from Cedarville University, and a few from some secular schools that have been touched by your ministry and understand the message that we're trying to get across to our campers. Well, that's really something. So we can have a... Yeah, we, we can come see what they're doing. What they're doing over here. Okay, and this is the sort of thing they do. This is just yep. one aspect. Let me show you this first. This is just okay. one aspect of a STEM this, camp, this right? This is an app we start them with. It teaches them how to program. It's called Lightbot, and it's got a little virtual robot on there, and they write computer programs to get that robot to turn on all the blue squares. Oh, okay. And so they have to look at it and figure out, obviously, that program's having trouble, and so they learn how to debug trial and error and those kinds of things. So they spend about 20 minutes doing that, and then we move them into the Lego Mindstorm, the so, real robot. So, so here so they're, they're you building can see, their robot. These are, what are you guys building? Um, we're not, doing that. not sure yet? You're going to build a race car? You're going to build a sumo um, bottling bot? All right, that's that's where the team, but the other thing is teamwork. They have to okay. learn how to work together, okay. make a decision, so decide they have what to they're going to build, decide together what they're doing, and then yep. go for it. Yep. Otherwise, if they all do something different, it won't work. Mr. Ham asked me if you would throw all the parts into a bag and shake them up, and out would come a robot. What do you think? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, we're kind of, we're kind of alluded to that in evolution, aren't we? So. Uh, so they're what, all doing something different. Some of the others here. Oh, they are. They got different. You guys know what you're things. building? Race car. Race car. All right. Race car. Very good. Good. You okay. got some gears because you can affect the speed of the race car by using the gearing. Very good. So, yeah. and what are you young ladies building? You don't know yet? You you guys follow, are you guys out? following the basic bot instructions? Yeah, so they're building, if they haven't had a lot of experience, we start from what we call the basic, it's a three-wheeled robot. Okay. And uh, they'll have two motors, and they'll learn how to do some basic things like move in a straight line and go in a square and things of that nature. So. Excellent, excellent. Let's, yeah, see, so, uh, let's see what this group this guys is Looks like they're here. doing the basic bot build. They're doing the basic bot build. They, they're fairly advanced on that, but look at that. Yeah, he's moving along pretty quickly. Some of them have worked with Legos a lot. Okay. So what are you guys, you guys doing? The basic bot here. Yeah, and then we're going to pretty much customize it afterwards. Now, now Ken, again, customize it afterwards. During theology of technology talk, this young man asked me a very inquisitive question that mm -hmm. he would like to ask you. Okay. What, what's the question you want to ask? Uh, yeah. So in the be in the beginning of Genesis, uh, the Bible said that the spirit of the Lord hovered above the waters. Uh -huh. So did God create the waters before He created the earth, or was were the waters already there, or? Well, you know, that's an interesting question. Actually, in 2 Peter 3, it, it says, and, and out of the water, you know, the earth was formed out of the water. It's possibly water was the element that God made and made the earth out of the water. Okay. Because um, you read 2 Peter uh, chapter 3, and it seems to do that. So, <clears throat> good question, though. Yeah. I mean, we weren't there. We don't really know. We've only got what God's Word says, right? Yeah. So when he made the earth, it was covered with water. But 2 Peter 3 seems to give a little bit more indication you know, out of water. So, very interesting to read. Ken, I'm glad he asked that question because one of the main reasons I felt God wanted me to start Camp Infinity was because the relationship I have with you and Answers in Genesis to be able to not just show these kids how to do STEM, but to give them answers to the kinds of questions that are plaguing them in our culture. So, so somebody you. said, I'm a missionary to Australia, we'll be in Yapoon. That's sort of up near Rakhine. a lot of Australia up near friends, Hampton, don't you? That's on the way up the north there and uh, at the end of the year we'd love to get Brother Wooster and Ken Ham there at the church. Hey, we could do that. Uh, we so, could bring our robots yeah. and actually their we, summer time's our we winter have, time, uh, right? We do have a bookstore in Brisbane now, Anson oh, Genesis fantastic. Bookstore. 
And wow. uh, we're That's really wonderful. we're sort of getting the Answers in Genesis ministry underway Excellent. in Australia. Excellent. And we're looking at possibility of uh, doing something a little later in the year. I was over there doing a conference actually uh, at the end of last year. So we're seeing what else well, we can do. Next time you go, take me with my do. robots, and we'll have a blast with those Aussies. So, we'll oh, have, we'll have somebody fun. said here, I like that kid. I wonder if it's, wonder if it's one of their kids. Oh, maybe. <laughs> could be. Could so be what are they doing over here? Yeah, what are you guys doing? What are you building? We are building a, we're building a tank with a little, what, what are we even doing at the front? We have a front, and, we have like a and then we have like a new ratio, yeah. Yeah. so it goes faster. It goes up. Good. It affects oh, the speed. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So a tank and... Gears and it's great to see all that happen. What are you? What are you guys doing? Putting the tires on. You're putting the tires on. Okay. You guys building the basic bot? Good. That's a good place to start. Excellent. It's a good place well, to start. It's great to see all these young people doing this, and you have a lot of young people come and do this in the summer. We do. But this is just one of many classes. One that activity. They have. That's one what are the other activities they have oh, for the STEM we, fair? We, we, we do what we call physics zip line adventure. We ride the zip lines that are at the Creation Museum, some of the best in uh -huh. that part of the country. And we study the physics and the mathematics behind it. Uh -huh. uh, we fly drones, so we learn about satellite dishes and GPS technology and flying drones. We fly. We build rockets and fly rockets. Uh, we blow things up safely, of course. Um, blow things summer. up. Every 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 kid, every kid every wants to blow, to blow up. things up. That's yeah. correct. Somebody so. said here, "Wow, Christian focus and engineering. What, what a concept." Yes. Yep. One of the camps we have with that is called biomimicry. We take a look at things that God, the great designer, has placed in nature, and we try to mimic those right. in order to improve mankind's situation. Well, there you are. I uh, wanted you to get excited about Camp Infinity, about their STEM camps coming to the Creation Museum again this year. And they can go to campinfinity.com yep. and get all the details yep. there, uh, all the information. Check, check out and our family camps, day camps, and overnight camps. And there's still room for people to register and get involved? Yeah, we have one week that's full, but the other weeks we're still accepting applications. We have scholarships available, financial aid available. First step is to apply. There's no cost in applying, and that tells us what their needs are and which, which weeks they want to come. And Well, great. Somebody said here, wonderful program. They're from North Dakota. So we've had we, we, we've had campers hey, before, from 37 states. Before we finish here, I want to see if people want to send lots of heart emojis across the screen and so say they you love. You like those emojis? They don't love you? STEM. Right? <laughs> oh yeah, you and, love uh, STEM. Hit us I know, with the emoji. I know the kids. The kids here love These STEM. These kids love they're, it. They're all involved. Really very, involved. Very, very involved. Building yeah. those robots. Yep. Yeah, and I'm sure that it'll, it'll, be, it'll be a buzz all afternoon. It'll be really great. Has anyone ever built something that you patented? No? <laughs> not yet, not yet. They build some pretty creative things, this age group so, does. Oh, look, we're starting to get some emojis, some hearts. Uh, That's what you like to get. Huh? So, yep. Well, uh, Dan, <laughs> I need, need, you've got to give them a lecture soon, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, and continue on with your robotic workshops Thank here. you so much for stopping and, by. Uh, and I spoke uh, last night, spoke today. I've got two more presentations to Great give tomorrow. Great to have you at this conference. And uh, for this uh, Teach Them Diligently homeschool yeah. conference. And a lot of different workshops. You just happen to be doing one of the workshops. But I wanted people to know about... There uh, they're coming through. Uh, yeah, they obviously... Thanks for the emojis. Uh, about the STEM camps uh, at the Creation Museum. We do lots of workshops at the Creation Museum, uh, but you're the one that does the, uh, the actual STEM uh, programs. We enjoy which is that. very, very different. So, very good. Anyway, with that, uh, we'll finish off here from Nashville, Tennessee, the home ah. of country music. Grand old Opry. And the Grand old Opry. That's right. Yeah. You're going to play some honky-tonk tonight so, on stage? No, no, I don't think so. <laughs>